everyone. Please remember, I'm not a financial advisor. This is for entertainment purposes, and these are only my opinions. I just want to do an update on SNDL, or Sundial Growers. Looking at a daily chart here, after we saw this jump on November 12th, which was a reaction to the third quarter earnings report, we basically plummeted all the way down to a low of 53 cents. We managed to climb back up and hit a high of 64 cents yesterday, but today we tested a low of 60 cents again. We held it well, but we found ourselves back in this descending channel again. In my opinion, I wouldn't be surprised if we tested the 50 EMA soon at 68 cents. But to do that, we need volume to pick up. As you can see, volume has been really light the last few weeks, well below the 50 EMA, which is around 122 million. The company has good things going for it. It has cash on the books, uh, recently acquired Alcana, and it just reported a profit of 10.5 million in Canadian dollars uh, for the third quarter. If we get legalization on the federal level next year, then I think um, that would be a major catalyst that can move the entire sector. Looking at a weekly chart, in my opinion, I think if we break the next resistance level at around 70 cents, then I believe there's a good chance we may test $1, which is a key psychological level. I think this is a level that, if broken, will force shorts to cover. As it stands now, 29% of the float is short, and that's over 315, mil 315 million shares. I think we, in my opinion, I think we could see a major short squeeze if we're able to break $1. But again, that's just my opinion. Uh, that's all I have for now. Uh, I just wanted to point out some key uh, support and resistance levels that I'm seeing. Always do your own due diligence and research. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.